In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a Google form using your phone. So let's get started. So the first thing that you need to do is go to your browser. So currently I'm using Chrome. Then just search for forms.google.com. After that, it'll open a new Google form. And on the top right, you'll see the account with which you've logged in. And if you haven't logged in yet, you'll just have to sign in. So now I'm going to show you how to create the form. The first thing that you'll want to do is just add a title to the form. For that, just click on Untitled Form, which is written on top over here. And now I can just give this a title. Now I'm going to name the form. For that, I'll just delete this Untitled Form and again, write the name. Then you can also add a description over here. So for now, I've just kept the description Tech is Easy's form. And this is the first thing that someone who opens the form will see. Then scroll down and over here, you can add the first question. Then click on Untitled Question and type in the first question. So I can just type in name. And if you saw, the type of answer changed to short answer. So if you just click on this arrow over here, then over here you have many options. And this is basically what type of answer you want to your question. So they have options like short answer, paragraph, multiple choice. So based on the type of question that you're asking, you can select one of these options over here. So since I'm only asking for the name, I can keep it short answer. After that, you have few options which are at the bottom. So if you want to make this question required, you can see that it's written required at the bottom and there's a bar next to it. So if I just click on that, then it's required. So this means that someone cannot submit the form unless they fill in their name. After that, you can also copy this question or delete it. So now if you want to add the second question, you'll find a plus button which is at the bottom left. So just click on that. Then again, you can type in the question over here. Let's say I ask, do you use YouTube? Then as you can see, the type of answer has already changed to multiple choice. And now I'll just click on option one to add the first option. So I'll type in yes. And now to add the second option, which is no, I'll just click on add option. And as you can see, it's automatically come. Now the same way you can make the question required. So I'll just click on the bar. And now even this question is required. So now I'll just add one last question. So I'll just call this comments. And since this will be a longer answer, I'll select paragraph. Now, if you want to know how your form looks to someone who's filling it in, you can just click on the three dots, which are on the top right, and then click on the first option that's preview. So now I'll open the form on a new tab. And over here, you get a preview of the form. So on top, you can see the name and the description. And then you can see the three questions. And over here, each of the questions have a red asterisk next to them, which basically means that this question is required and they have to fill it in to submit the form. So now I'll just go back. Now let's say you want to rearrange a question. So if I want to put name below the question, do you use YouTube? Then what you've got to do is just long press on the six buttons, which are over here. And now as you can see, I can rearrange the question. So now I'll just place it over here. And as you can see, it's come after the question, do you use YouTube? Now, if you want to change the font, the theme, the background of the form, there's an option for that as well. Just click on this palette icon, which is on the top. Then over here, you can select a header image. So just click on choose image. And over here, they have some default ones or else you can just upload it from your photos. After that, you can select a theme color, then a background color, and then you can change the font. And then once you've made the changes, just click on apply. And now as you can see, the changes are made. Now I'm going to show you how to share the form to more people. So for that, you'll find a share icon, which is on the top. And over here, you have many ways that you can share it. The first way is via email. So you can just enter the email ID. Or else if you want to share a code, click on the second option. And over here, you'll get a link. So you can just shorten it and then copy it. And the third option is either via Facebook or Twitter. So these are basically all of the options that you have to share the form. Now there's only one thing left and that's to go through the responses. So I've just filled in this form and I'll show you how the responses look. So first just click on the responses button over here. And from here, you have different ways of looking at the responses. The first way is just a summary. So over here you'll have a chart, then it's question by question and then individually. So you can go through all of these methods. And then there's one option which I really like and that's linking this form to a Google Sheet. For that, just click on 
the Google Sheets icon over here, which is in green. After that, click on create a new spreadsheet and then just click on create. So now it's opened a spreadsheet and over here, as you can see, I get the date, the time and all of the questions over here. And the good thing is that this auto updates. So the second someone fills in the form, you'll find the response over here. So this is basically how Google Forms works. And if you want to know how to create a quiz or some cool tricks using Google Forms, you can check out the videos over here. Goodbye.